Hey, welcome back to the next uh, episode of our joint venture with Palladium and BBS Film Productions. Uh, today, we are going to talk about nonverbal communication and uh, some of the ways that you can be successful in doing this and not be misunderstood, I Misconstrued, guess. Misconstrued, yeah, yeah, because it's a, a flat way. form of communication. There's right. no emotion that's, unless yeah. you do things to cons you know to convey those emotions. Right, right. And uh, I'll start out just by saying, how, asking everybody out there, how many emails do you get a day that just turn you off? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, either they're three or four paragraphs of not even, even social media. Let's say, you know, different types of things you get from LinkedIn. I can't tell you how many times I get four or five paragraphs of copy with them asking me for something at the end. Yeah. And I don't even read that far. You don't have time. You don't, you just, you got one sentence you have to work about, yep. worry about, you know? So, um, you know, that's a big deal. You yeah, know? it is a huge deal. It's LinkedIn is ridiculous for unsolicited. Ugh, yeah. Unsolicited askings mm -hmm. for your business. Yes. And as soon as you connect, they have, there's an unsolicited, I want to do business with you. Right, right. Okay. And I find it, I find it insanely offensive. So you know what I do? Hmm. I send them back the article of me retiring from coaching. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> because if you really have any idea <clears throat> of who I am, yeah, it's encapsulated in that I am a person that's going to give. Okay, right. to the community. Now, granted, I did get paid. Okay, well, <laughs> when you get paid in high school wrestling coach, you know, yeah, yeah, it's like a dollar eleven an hour. And <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they should. <clears throat> well, whatever. That said, yeah. But at the end of the day, you're going to read this first before I even dare talk to you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So it's kind of like back in their face, but in a in a very <clears throat> loving way. Right. It's like, do you understand who you're talking to? Yeah, and you know the scary part about it, Peter, is a lot of those are automated robots. Of course. You know, and it's so hard to get past that yep. part of it. And fake accounts, I can't yep. tell you how many fake accounts. You yep. see this scantily clad, beautiful woman oh, on the, yeah. Yeah, how many of those do you get a day, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're all like, uh, you know, I'm new to LinkedIn. Right. You know, you look like a nice person to talk to. Yeah. I don't know what their scam is. You know, I think it might be to get your contact information, sure. eventually your bank account. But, yeah. you know, the thing I don't like about that is even if you send it to LinkedIn and yeah. tell them it's a fake account, yeah. they their robots say it's okay. Yeah. I've done that about a dozen times. Well, you just times. block them. You just block them. You got to block them. You got to block them. Yeah, but you so. got to know these little things that to to catch these people. Right. And the way is some some of the things are like broken English. Yeah. How long they've been on LinkedIn. Sure. You know, if it's been two weeks and they have five people, yet they're a vice president of, you know, Honeywell. Or Sephora. So, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. all that's fake and all of it's from a third world country that's trying to get you something from you exactly but yeah. I, I that to me is superfluous the mm. thing that i don't like is the you know the person that is like from Ottumwa, iowa yeah who yeah. just solicits you for life insurance right you yeah know what i mean so i think that that's that's bad but the other thing i think that we really should hit on with this is the flatness of that communication, yes. whether it's from somebody that you know, mm -hmm. right, or somebody that you don't know, right, and it's flat in text, it's flat in email, it's flat in DM, yeah, it's flat in sometimes in posts, maybe not if you mm -hmm. if you're creative in your posts. So how do we get around that? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think you have an answer. Right, right. So let's say, and, I, and this has been true to form. I've done this a million times with people, and they've done it to me too. So. Um, you know, let's talk about text, for example. Sure. You know, with the text, uh, there's there's one very easy way that you can change the tone of a text. Okay. And texts are usually for the majority of the time they're they're designed to, you know, honey, bring some milk home. You know, right. on the way home. Just think personally, you know. But every so often, you get a customer that you deal with that wants to deal in text. Oh yeah. So um, they may say something like, you know, when can I get this? You know, and you're not sure exactly, or let's say even you're talking to them, you know, and you say, uh, when can I get these things from you? You know, you could just send it like that. There's no emotion to it. People don't understand what 
they may look at it and go, well, you know, are you being a little dry with me? Yeah. But if you put a little smiley emoji next to it, it yeah. changes the whole tone of things. Sure. Sure. You put the right emoji, don't overuse it, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And believe it or not, customers, some of the bigger ones, I said a vice president of a huge company, has their own emoji that they want to use every time. Sure. Don't use their emoji. We come up with another one, you know? And But as long as it's, you know, positive and to the, you know, happy, it, it changes the whole tone of things. Sure. And it's really changed because it was a no-no. It was a no-no. A few years ago. Right. It was a no-no. Right. You know, no, no professional is going to do that. And yeah. today they are. And yeah. so that's you know, that's part of the, the, the you know, the overall culture yeah. imbuing itself on the professional culture. Right. Okay. Right. So I, I like that. But more importantly, if you have a problem with that, get on the call. Get on the call. Call them up. Say, yeah. hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. We, no, 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 no. No, yeah. that's not what I meant. Okay. Right. Get to it. And immediately, you got to do that. Yeah. So that's that's um, part of I think the problem with the disconnect with generations. Yes. You know I think the younger generations so fearful of the phone it's almost like it's radioactive. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. You know that's what I mean. True. And, or confrontation in general. Yeah. Confrontation. You know it's crazy. Oh well, yeah. Confrontation. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Confrontation is. Uh, th there's no way they want any confrontation whatsoever. Or any candid no. or any candid talk. Right. You know what I mean? Or, or to the to the point talk. Yeah. It's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I don't like that. And I don't want to say that about all of them, but that no, seems no, no. to be like the general consensus with a younger generation now. They, uh, they've they got that attitude that this is it. This is, I have my way of going to do it. I'm entitled to this. And um, I really don't necessarily care about what you're <laughs> thinking yeah you know? yeah and yeah. there's no internet there's no intellectual discourse there's no yeah. dispassionate intellectual discourse it's right. all about zero to 60 so yeah. they get angry at you yeah you know and you're like you don't have the right to get angry at me because i'm making all the sense in the world i'm being logical yeah. i'm being professional yeah. i'm giving you a great gem of information yeah and you're getting aggravated because you're incompetent about it yeah. And there's a great book out there. It's called Not Everybody Gets a Trophy. <laughs> I strongly suggest you pick it up. If you're having a problem yeah. with anybody younger in that world, it tells some outstanding stories and outrageous stories about, yeah. you know, what actually kids are saying to their bosses. Sure. Exactly. And you know, I look right. at that, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, Bill Maher <clears throat> does yeah. a whole I did a whole shtick on it. Oh yeah, right, right. I mean, yeah. the ho he did the Halloween thing. Oh yeah, you know where, what what scares millennials? Oh, and, what he, was and it? he said, and the, like the biggest scare is the phone. Oh, she yeah. making a phone call. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, like ah, and they're screaming. It's yeah. kind of funny. Anyhow. Oh, that is funny. Yeah. So yeah. I think the solution is is that to be empathetic, but also to you know stand your ground and say this this has to you have to have this is your is your skill otherwise right. you're never going to progress yeah and you're you're going to not going to be in the 1% because only the 1% are in the 1% yeah but you can make a very good living in the 10% or right. the 20% if you just up your game a little bit yeah exactly right exactly right so with that uh i think the takeaway would be what again just i so, think up your game up your game okay. up your game yes emails are great Texts are great. Links, LinkedIn's great. DMs are great. All, all that, but up your game, right? Okay, right. Have the skills to look somebody in the eye, meet somebody, give them a call. Yeah, talk to them on Zoom or whatever. You know, whatever. Right. You know, but I think have those interpersonal people skills and get past the fear of it all. Because yeah. the fear is what it's all about, which is what our next episode is going to be about after okay. this. Good. All right, great. Have a great uh, day today, everybody, and uh, look forward to. Talking to you on our next episode. Peace. Peace.